Hi, I'm Alex Cunliffe, and I'm a co-founder of Thinkcredible. What sparked the idea for Incredible and its print-on-demand services? Well, we were just selling t-shirts online and through meeting some people that were to turn into customers, we spotted a huge opportunity for a print-on-demand service to exist and built the rest of our service around that. Where did the name Incredible come from? Me, Amy and my mum were sat around a kitchen table one evening and spent about three hours writing keywords that matched t-shirts, printing, embroidery and anything else that kind of related to what we do. And after putting them together in every format we could, we struck on Incredible and it stuck. What challenges did you face in the early years of Incredible and how did you overcome them? Being a mid-teen starting a business, it was quite hard, especially at the time, to be taken seriously when you're trying to start a relationship, whether that be with kind of suppliers or potentially even customers sometimes. I'd say we had to work quite hard to overcome it. Can you tell us about a particularly memorable moment from the past 10 years? June 2020, in a strange way, was the first time that we managed to step back and look at the business as a whole and understand really what our vision can be. It was the day that we moved into the premises where our business lives today, where for the first time we had ample space for growth. How has Incredible adapted to changes in technology over the years? Tech has been a huge part in terms of what we do, whether it's kind of front and back end tech to facilitate a print on demand service, but just as importantly, being able to build efficiencies in a production and a working environment to be able to make services cost effective for merchants. Tech has been and continues to be and will always be a huge part of our business. What impact has social media had on the print on demand industry over the past 10 years? The effect that social media has had on print on demand in the past 10 years has been huge for clients. We, we now see customers grow much, much faster than what they could before because of the virality that they can achieve on social media and the native shopping platforms that exist on like TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. What's been your favourite part of running Incredible over the years? Building a team around a business has been one of the most exciting things for us in the past 10 years. Being able to bring together like-minded, intelligent people all working towards the same goal to make impact on thousands of small businesses I couldn't wish for anything more. How do you see Incredible Evolve in the next 10 years? Our first 10 years has been about helping small businesses get started. Our next 10 years is about helping them businesses grow. We'll do that by investing in technology, products and customers. If you could go back to Alex 10 years ago, what would be the one piece of advice that you'd give him? Don't be afraid to hire people that are better and more experienced than you at certain tasks because it's those people that will help your business grow and be a better business. Can you share an interesting fact about yourself? I have too much of a reputation of using spreadsheets for far too many things. Including? No, we don't need including. <laughs> this has been a special episode of Behind the Brand to celebrate Incredible's 10 year anniversary. If you want to come and sit in this seat to feature on a future episode, check the link in the description to get in touch.